monkeys do we have so far, boys and girls? Yeah. How many more do we need? Yeah. We need one more. Here we go. All right, Gavin, would you like to be the last monkey? Here we go. Common Core has been a challenge for us, especially in kindergarten, because the standards have been raised quite significantly. And it's been a challenge to balance how to entertain 33 kids in a classroom all day, but keep them active, but at the same time teach with a depth of knowledge. Um, that has been my focus on really trying to balance the two, giving the kids opportunities to move, to speak. How many monkeys are jumping at the top? Five. How many are on the floor? Zero. To cooperatively learn. Um, and I think in today's lesson was a good example of how I've achieved that balance. So our lesson was learning all the number combinations to make the number five. In the past, they only had to learn, what does the number five look like? Can you show me five fingers? But now with Common Core, you have to show them all the different ways to make five. And I thought to myself, how can I do that when these kids can't even sit still for two minutes? So with this lesson, I learned that we just go back to the old ways, but extracting the math out of the songs that we've always sung. So the five little monkeys jump in on the bed, every kindergarten teacher sings that. But have they ever thought to pull the math out of that song? Um, one way that we achieve Common Core is to really start with a good understanding of what numerals are. Um, we do that with concrete objects, and today they were the concrete objects. They were the monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and broke her head. And after the concrete stage, we moved to a pictorial stage of teaching, which is what you might have seen on the flannel graph. We had five monkeys um, pictured on the flannel graph board. So how many fell down? Four. And how many were still jumping? Four. And let's read it all together. Here it goes. Ready? Four plus one equals five. And then after the pictorial stage, then we can move to numerals, which we call symbols. And we do that with every number all the way up to ten. So they, by the time they exit kindergarten, they'll know all the number combinations from zero to ten.